Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Reggae and I'm actually in a better mood than I usually am because I've just been having an absolute laugh. I've dug out my PlayStation 3. Why a PlayStation 3? Because I'm poor and that's all we could afford and all we'll ever be able to afford. But it's fine, it's enjoyable and it's great. And I was looking over me old games, Formula 1, that was hilarious. That was Formula 1 2012, we're thinking, back when I was just a little and, and this channel didn't exist and the world was a much nicer nicer place. And I was having such a great time, I thought, this laugh that I'm having, what if I was broadcasting it to people? Then my time wouldn't be so wasted on just myself and people could possibly enjoy it as well. That got me thinking. Christmas is coming up and there are some people who are saying to me, Reggit, what do you want for Christmas, you idiot? You haven't told me what you want for Christmas. I'm like, oh, well, I'm poor, so I usually just get used to not having anything. But here was my thought. Should I ask for a capture card or something like that? Now, I know nothing about capture cards or anything like that. One of my mantras is, if you don't know an area, leave the people who know about that area to tell you about it instead of pretending you have knowledge in it. So I bring this question to use who know about it. Firstly, would you be interested in seeing me do something like that with my hapless driving and much crash and enjoyment as such? Would you enjoy as such? And if you would, or perhaps even if you wouldn't, if you are knowledgeable on the subject, what kind of capture card should I ask for? What ones are good value? What ones, very importantly, would work with the PlayStation 3? Ideally, a Wii and a Wii U as well, if that's not too much to ask. And one that's extremely reliable, and doesn't corrupt would also be fantastic. So those three things, could you answer them for me? I hope you accept the mission, because if you don't, there sure is absolutely nothing I can do about it. In any case, Battle Cats wise, you might have been wondering why I was doing the very start of Heavenly Tower. Well, earlier today I saw Heavenly Towers back. I thought, absolutely fantastic. I'll save myself some energy and bank myself some. So that was me spending that, and then I'm gonna reconnect to the internet and try what is new today, or what was originally new today, because there's another new thing here. Event All Stars Super Present DX, which I can't check the information off because we're offline but originally what I was going to look at was what I misread as Crimson Vengeance coming back as new for some reason Cybear's Vengeance and I had a look at this it's some kind of ridiculous ticket stage you clear up to once like facing danger but you get five tickets upon completion of it and I'm like oh that's going to be some NP and rare cap tickets for me don't mind if I do so that's what I'm going to be doing principally and then maybe we'll look at the other thing who knows but before all that need to actually reconnect. Please don't be at the energy cap. Please don't be at the energy cap. Please don't be. The oh, it's at the energy cap. I've done it wrong. I haven't spent enough energy. Oh, that's going to make me very sad because it's a 500 energy stage. And that's horrible. It's not a no continue stage, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I can make decent guesses. If we look at the information on it, it will tell us and it gives cat tickets. What does that make it likely to be? Metal enemies, one could hope. Fair enough, I can use my slot with all the anti-metal in it. Newly improved, you could say, although not decisively, but with the three Monacos, the critical chance up. Hayabusa, Paladin, Catasaurus, Waitress, it's got them all, as well as some brute forcing metals, Manic Lion, and my fast boy, Aber Harmer. If anything can do this, I should think it will be this slot, but I've only got one slot go at it. I can have as many goes within that as I like, as long as I don't lose, but one slot go. This is my best bet, and at 500 energy, I hope the right bet. We unearth a deep and dark forest and there it looks to be the metal bear. Well, I've heard about this in the stories of legend, but not the stories of legend, literally hearsay, people telling stories, and that is very distracting and completely unwholesome. I do not like that. His arm's a bit strange as well. I was watching a bit of Gooseworks, which uh, someone recommended to me a long time ago. YouTube music artist, and they were make this is a really tenuous link, and I'll, I'll get to this ridiculous thing in a minute, right? They were doing a music video thing for a thing called Clutch and Clark, a webcomic, and I've just lost Anyway, one of the arms looked like that. Let's go to something else. Glad that that's here now because that other thing really didn't do us any good at all. Super Present DX, like backwards XD, possibly. What's it about? 300 energy, receive one of the item rewards below. So it's like a really kind of beefed up sender unknown? 
Hmm, I don't know what to think about that, but I do know what slot to think about that. Luckily, I actually have enough energy for it, and seeming as I won't be able to try again, I'm gonna go for it. I am gonna be an absolute madman and do a heavenly tower floor first, I know. To give myself at least a tiny bit of credit, and while I stall time for about two energy that I need, I'm thinking for that bloke with a massive attack who just obliterated me before I could even start speaking about him, Metal Cat would be a good idea with a whole reduction of damage onto him. Glass Cat? I reckon that's invulnerable as well and can slow him. Past that, possibly a Jiangxi surviving. Lots of cheap meat shielding. Right, 300 energy's been hit. Let's go to Presence of the Mind in insane. Well, talk to me about mind, you talk to me about philosophy A-level, but this time I won't digress because we know exactly what happened the last time. And it's a little Diddy base! Oh, you Diddy base! Weird that it doesn't have the number on top of it. And there is the Easter Bunny! Oh, that's fantastic and it's a golden hippo! I mean, of course it's a celebration stage. I would have known that from the fireworks and the type of outside level name that it was, but it still comes as a lovely excitement to see all of this. Now, the start off worries me a tiny bit because we've only got Jizo and Erasers, but that should theoretically be alright, I think. Maybe. Hopefully. Possibly. It looks like it because these enemies aren't too difficult. I was rather worried that something like a Golden Arost would come out and ruin things for us, but the bunny is dead, the hippo is dead, and I've got plenty of monies now. Oh, and it's the base that attacks you as well! From the Easter thing. I remember when I put mate's voice to it. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nathan here, and welcome back. Oh, it's the sports day thing, but it's different. Is it different? I think it's different because that's a peach. That's a peach in like a smoky grey outfit. Oh, look at that stopped midair. Peach left in the sky. Piggy in the middle of the air and now Piggy gone. Sorry about that, Piggy. But oh, look, they're back. And it's my favourite boy from 2NH3, the classic lucky ticket stage. Oh, thank goodness they're not lucky ticket G enemies. We finally got some class within levels of the Battle Cats. Ha, huh, get it? class because it's 2NH3. Right, Meg Aphrodite takes a nice shot. We get a nice load of slow. We put out a nice few extra meat shields. Save up for one more Jizo, I think, and then just keep meat shielding. Meg Aphrodite and Cyberpunk are going to double team this, and I think, unless Meg Aphrodite gets displaced, which she exactly does to continue the chemistry analogies, we were going to hit the base and kill it that way. But now we're really not, and now I'm beginning to be worried. Cyberpunk's going to die, like, well, right now, and I've got no monies at all. That hasn't worked. I'm going to push them to that side of the base this time so that I have a more sure footing. Okay, maybe not that close because then the base is there. Hmm. Jizo, Manica Razor here. And now I'm going to do meat shields, try and get my worker cat up, knowing that the start of this level doesn't include many enemies. So two Jizo, two meat shields over and over again. That will be all right while we save up the worker in a rare moment of success, this idea seems to be working, and I'm furthering it even more by doing two normal erasers and then a manic eraser to reduce meat shielding costs. And yet, it's still perfectly fine to get the protection we need, and now that that hippo is dead, just one eraser should be absolutely alright. Look at me making sensible choices with my monies. Who is this Battle Cats player? The stuff's out now, and my objective is to save approximately 9,000 750 monies. What's that? That Shadow Gal plus Cyberpunk, if my maths is correct, and that will hopefully allow for some nice status quo of enemies. Although Hippo is gold, gold is not an enemy type, and so we should be fine. And I think with a max worker cat and nothing else to do, I can sit back, relax, and know for sure that if I fail now, you know what? Actually, I don't know. Here's the second wave of them, which caused us so much trouble before, and Shadow Gal takes a huge dump on them with his powerful gaze. Booam! Oh no, not Booam. Okay, try again. Booam! They're already gone. And the base strikes at Meg Aphrodite with a sickening vengeance. No, Cyberpunk, Shadow Gal, defeat. 
for them. Victory for me and Sniper the Cat, so, well, don't really care too much about that. Energy fully recovered, that's what it's all about. I can go back to Heavenly Tower, or even flipping Cybear. See, the thing is, if Heavenly Tower wasn't on, I wouldn't hesitate in giving it a go, but I just want to make my way through Heavenly Tower, and 500 energy is a lot of energy to waste, and even if that strategy helps me get somewhere, it would need to be good enough to actually beat the level for it to be worth the investment. And will it be? I don't know, I'm not not sure that it would be. Now I'm just having a thought. Let's have a look at my cyberpunk because I'm fairly sure it doesn't do metal. It doesn't. So that's not going to help with slowing. What else has a long enough range for that sort of thing? Well possibly Super Galaxy Cosmo but eh, probably not. It'll just run into danger and won't have an effect on metal specifically anyway. So what would I have? Loads of cheap meat shields, metal cat, glass cat. I feel like that's still not good enough to defeat him. I need to get some sort of critical hit off on it. And how am I going to do that? Well, perhaps a freeze cannon. How am I going to get anything up close enough to be able to do an attack during the time that the freeze cannon is operating? I don't think I can. High boost is fast, but I had the speed combo on with that, and I don't think I'd be fast enough. I mean, I could give it a go. I could. But at the very least, I'm going to spend all the energy towards 500 on Heavenly Tower, so that if I do complete it, the energy energy profit will be maximised. Not that I'm thinking I actually will complete it, I'm just doing a bit of wishful thinking in case everything turns up rosy, which it very rarely does, but it might. My strategy might be genius. You might be saying, yes, Reggie, you've made an intelligent thought. Implement that thought. Well, I'm going to implement the thought, whether it's intelligent or not, and I guess I'll soon find out the truth of that. And look at that then, just about right, luckily with the Heavenly Tower energy cost brought us to 517, so I'm going to copy my slot 2 and change it in some strange way in a slot that we have available, probably this one that didn't work out too well for us. Right, to what I was thinking of, he says with a degree of ominous pessimism. Oh, Atoto returns to celebrate us slightly changing our base. Well, thank you, Atoto. Or oh, you can continue. Look at you. Okay, upgrade my Holy Blast then. I haven't done a video on. Right, let's change this then to the Thunderbolt Freezy Boy. Hopefully that will sort us out nicely. That's the best strategy that I can think of, whether that will be any good. We are about to see, because the proof is in what we're going to give a go to here. Sniper the Cow. I feel like that might actually be quite sensible. As I'm spending so much energy and we saw the issue with me not bringing a rich cat before, I'm going to bring a rich cat because to be fair, look at all the items we've got. We're going to be pretty... Oh no, hang on. Oh, I haven't lost all my lucky capsules, have I? Okay, I've got three hours. <laughs> Flipping. Oh, here's a thought. Might as well add a CPU to all of that. I think that would be a fair enough idea, given that we're using these items anyway already. So, the strat is as described, pretty much. This bloke doesn't walk too fast. Don't know if there are eventually going to be any other enemies, but I've got three meat shields as such. I've also got glass cat. Let's see how that fares. Bam! Invulnerable! And doesn't work on metal. Oh, okay. Well, you know, he's there. We've got metal cat, who should survive for a little bit longer. He does attack quite fast, though, and that is going to kill metal cat off decently quickly, and it is a huge area of effect, so metal Metal will only really succeed in stopping him from moving. So I need to be very clever about how I use this cannon. I'm just going to turn the CPU on when it comes to having the cannon available and go. No, that's too early. That's too early. Go on. No. Ah, you had your chance. Oh, we're actually getting to him though. Credit to us. I mean... Oh my goodness me, we've done it anyway. Didn't even need any critical hits. Is Reggit a madman or is Reggit an absolute flipping madman? Cat ticket plus five, energy fully recovered. Good stuff. I was not expecting that, but that is a very, very nice and pleasant surprise. Let's quickly get myself back to slot three and start Heavenly Tower level before we waste any more little trickles of energy. Well, that has been absolutely fantastic. We're 
without a question, so much better than I thought it would be. So, that is the end of the saga of the new metal stage and a new celebration stage. I hope that you have enjoyed the journey as much as I have, and I also hope that you might wish to pop along for another video in the near future, or the far future, or both even more preferably. In any case, I'll be off now, so I'll bid you goodbye and say I hope you enjoy.